Hello, it's Sarah. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to share what I've been up to. And what I've been up to has everything to do with Erica Joanne Art. I am in love with her pieces, this technique that she brings colored pencil into acrylic painting using the Gessonia paints, different mediums. It's just kind of changed my, it's gotten me into something a little bit new. Um, she also uses embellishments, kind of like um, mixed media type stuff. So this is Pippa and Sage. This is a beautiful um, design that I just love. I, I created little art dolls of steampunk. She's kind of steampunk. Um, so I'm going to show you. Also, just so you know, her pattern packets, you will not be um, disappointed. So many color pictures. Look at this. Just detail color pictures. Um, I did two of this pattern because I ordered two journals. Look, there's also another design though. Not design, but size. Two sizes that you could work with. It is just amazing, and I'm tempted to do this on a big board. It's just so gorgeous. Um, so let me show you what I have. I did this journal. I ordered these journals from Amazon. They are 8.5 by 11, I want to say. Um, eight. Let's see. Maybe 7 and 3 quarters by... Ten and three quarters. Anywho, just black covers, but I haven't journaled a thing. I wanted to use these as a journal. Um, I still may and hope to um, for 2024. Uh, my family had a loss this Christmas. Um, we lost my son, um, my oldest son. So I have. I would like to write letters to my son. But what I'm getting at is this piece, <clears throat> her face, and um, I did it twice. So this is the first one, and she just looks a little kind of uptight. She's not as laid back as I had hoped, but I used some of my findings. You guys have sent me these things, um, buttons and gems. I just found this little 24 in my stash and figured, well, it's the year. To, I'm, I'm going to journal. I'm going to journal. I think I'll try to get up tomorrow and start. Um, I did two of them. Here's my second one. And this one I actually really followed the directions on the face. I took my time because, like I said, I wasn't pleased with the face as much as I could. So I took my time and I did... A little differently um, there's a glare it's just because of my light the way it shines and you can totally see they look like two different women um, just by opening the eyes a little bigger and the mouth a little bigger um, it was so fun and this is art is my serenity you guys it gives me so much peace so yeah, I, I used little different, I didn't paint the clock, I, I kind of just glued a clock there. Um, different things, I put this little bling necklace on her. I love it, I love her so much, it just makes me happy. And I'm thinking of gifting one to my granddaughter, Maya. She's 16, let me come back up. And I'll probably keep this one and give Maya this one. So that's that. Uh, oh, Erica, well, I'm going to make an unboxing video when I get my subscription box. I shared with you guys that uh, she decided to do a subscription box this year, and I bought it right away. I also became a member of her VIP group, which gets kind of little... Um, behind-the-scenes looks, different different things she shares with them, but these are some of her little lives that she does. The uh, I didn't paint the other, uh, my little snowman yet, because I just moved into the next, I moved into this, 
pink sorbet. Um, I just love the color. It makes me happy. Um, but these little foxes are part of, um, she did three. She did a little house snow globe, a snowman, and the little fox. So I did two of these. And I floated my edge. I did pencil. I, have, I am definitely using the pencil. Um, it's just new for me. But yeah, most of the shading is done with pencil and highlighting. Um, and it's called damp dry brushing. So this is the next one I'm working on. This is called Pink Sorbet. And my husband cut me a little piece to do it on. So I'm prepping. I'm just base coating. I'm all done base coating, actually. I think I'm, I'm moving into the pencil portion. Um, and Joe just cut me these little... They're six by six inch squares of MDF board. Um, and we just put a little notch in the corner just to change it up a little. Because I have another one that I'm going to be doing that's kind of going to be the pair. Pitter Pat Posey. This one's called Pink Sorbet Bouquet. And this one's called Pitter Pat Posey. And they just make me happy. I think they're on six by six inch um, canvas panels. You know those canvas panels you can get? Um, I've done them before. I don't know where they are at the moment. Um, I did a lot of the little, let's see if they're in here. No, that's all watercolor paper, but I did a lot of the little, um, let's see, these are the more of a canvasy canvas, but they're panels. Uh, I just can't find one, but like I said, Joe just cut me my wood, so I'm going to do it on the MDF board using her techniques. So um, I have other, I have this one I want to do. This is called Partridge Plume, and it's on like a 6 by 12. So I like to put these on pieces that are useful that you don't just have to hang on the wall so like a box top or something but I just didn't have them and I wanted to paint <laughs> so um, if I took my time I could find a nice little box to put this on or something I have this I've done a two of these different ones this is the B fractor and this is just on watercolor paper and these this is done with washes and pencil so um, lots of different cute things to choose from. And look at this, what you get in the pattern. Step by step. I mean, it's so easy to follow, but I will be sharing an unboxing when I get the, um, it's called Woodland Whimsy. That's the, the theme. And like this little fox, it kind of, makes me think it's going to be little critters like this you know toadstools and woodland creatures fairies maybe who knows she likes to keep it a surprise um so i will put the link in the description box for you guys for you to check it out there are some spots i think she has a waiting list but she did order more supplies so if anyone's interested i think it's about 200 20 there might it might be on sale 225 I think it is you get four boxes throughout the year and I think there's like three projects in each one there's supplies you get pencils you get paint you get all types of stuff so I can't wait to share that with you and again it just makes me happy I have to do this um, it is part of my serenity and um, I just hope everyone out there has that has that thing that keeps them at peace and um use it use it when you feel <laughs> not at peace so i'll be back i'm gonna put her in the shot my little pippa she's so beautiful thank you erica joanne if you see this for your beautiful work and that's it you guys thanks for watching have a grateful day